Governor Roy Cooper is providing an update on the tropical storm Isaias. Let's listen in. As it continues to approach North Carolina, as the storm closes in, we expect it to increase in intensity. There's a potential for dangerous hurricane force winds as it makes its way toward landfall later tonight. That means we must be on high alert. This storm will bring dangerous weather conditions to much of our state overnight. Heavy rains, flash floods, and storm surge can quickly inundate low-lying areas. Stay inside during the heavy winds and watch for tornadoes. Hurricane warnings have been issued in three North Carolina counties, Pender, Brunswick, and New Hanover. Tropical storm warnings and watches have been issued for much of eastern and central North Carolina. Pay attention to these warnings and secure your home and belongings. Have a way to stay informed, particularly since the storm will sweep through at night. As we've cautioned before, the status or category of a storm can be misleading. Whether it's labeled a tropical storm or a hurricane, you should take this storm seriously and make sure your family is ready. That means taking care of your pets too. This storm threatens our coastline with storm surge and damaging winds, but the inland areas are also at risk. Be prepared for a lot of rain, as much as seven inches in some places. The rain combined with high winds can lead to flooding, down trees, and down power lines. And make sure you're ready with supplies, flashlights, and things in case you lose power. And remember, never drive through flooded roads. As little as 18 inches can sweep a car away. We've lost too many lives after these storms because of people trying to drive through water. We have deployed water rescue, transportation, and emergency workers to the eastern part of the state. I've talked with the United States Coast Guard leadership, and they are standing by to help, along with our North Carolina National Guard. Healthcare workers are preparing to assist at a medical shelter if it's ne needed. Swift water rescue teams, high water vehicles, and helicopters are standing by and have been strategically positioned. State and local officials continue to be on the ready, and Director Sprayberry will discuss more of those preparations. Listen to local officials and follow any evacuation orders that you get when they're issued. If you're told to evacuate, the most important thing to do is get out of the danger zone. First, plan to stay with family or friends. And if that doesn't work, a hotel is the next option if you can afford it. But no, shelters will be available for those who need them. Visit your county government website or call 211 for instructions on sheltering options. Shelters will screen people for coronavirus symptoms. If someone has COVID-19 or shows symptoms, they'll be directed to a sheltering option for isolation or medical attention. Shelters will have PPE and will honor social distancing. Now, I know that North Carolinians have had to dig deep in recent months to tap into our strength and resilience during the pandemic, and that hasn't been easy. But with this storm on the way, we have to dig a little deeper. Let's keep each other safe from the wind and water, as well as from the virus. As this storm arrives in just a few hours, remember the power that comes from helping one another. We're all better off when we work together.